Welcome to episode 64 of the world famous Rad Dude Cast. <laughs> this is a car cast. We're in the car. Uh, we're driving around. Me and Anthony just had a show. Anthony, introduce yourself. Anthony. A- Anthony DeVito. Yes. Uh, Brendan, what is your question? There's no fucking question. I'm saying we're doing a car cast. Mm. Uh, we just picked Greg up at his show. Greg? A fale lali long, a fale lali long, 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 long. I'm pretty sure those are two different songs. Work it. Work it. I think those are different, man. So this is a car cast. Uh, first of all, get the Second business. Second one. Second one. One time we did one where we had to call in. Greg oh, and Anthony yeah, were coming home Christmas. from Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, this one, pure car cast. We're uh, just thought we'd mix it up a little bit. Our schedules are tight this week. We're doing uh, spots anyway. We'd like to, as always, thank you for your continued listenership. Uh, we love you all. Uh, continue to follow us on Twitter at the Rad Dude Cast. Uh, let us know any questions you got there. Uh, and then, uh, you know, if you got any questions about driving, we're expert drivers. I'm driving. Uh, it's my sister's 2005 Jetta. I know it's a woman's car, but that's fine, right? I have a question already, and it's just off the bat. Are we done? Did this podcast already happen? Did I miss it? <laughs> Was that the ending? Were you closing it down and I missed the whole thing? Nope. We no, just man. picked you up. We've just yeah. started. This is all, this is live for us. We are live. Coming through you in your earbuds. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, yeah. why did we choose car over homecast? That is a question. Well, just to get it out of the way, we're picking it up. Figured we'd start. And then we're going to bring that into the house, or are we just going to sit in the car? Yeah, that's a great question. Because, I mean, it's not it's not but an hour ride. <laughs> it's not even an hour ride. <laughs> no. It's but without the hour. We'll go through Manhattan. Let's go through Manhattan, my friends. <laughs> Should we go to Can Manhattan? Can I go through Manhattan? Yeah, I don't know if they can no one's got a lavalier on me. Yeah, no one's got a lav my gun. <laughs> uh, Greg, uh, I'm good, man. We're in. Uh, we're currently driving through Williamsburg, uh, Brooklyn, hipster capital of the world. Do people call it that still? Nobody's ever. Has anyone ever called it that? I think I what? Feel so. Dumb. Yeah. Scumville, what? USA, if you ask me. <laughs> call it that. Uh, people are calling it Scumville, USA? You yes, ask me. A couple people know this place as Let Scumville, us stop USA. At the appropriate pizza location. Oh, do you want a, some za? Get a za in me, bro. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's get a full pie. Let's get a full pie of problems. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go into Manhattan. Uh, we're going to go over the Williamsburg Bridge into Manhattan. We'll get you, get Greg a full pie. Yeah, that's Let me good. ask you this. With zero dollars. Uh, I got money. Greg, <laughs> let me ask you this. Me and Anthony just had a show. I'm going to run I'm this by you. Her. Tell me. Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on dogs in the audience? Like it's just a, it's just a fucking crowd full of dogs, you <laughs> I tell wish, me? I wish it was all dogs. We having had, dogs in the crowd. We had three dogs as part of the crowd. Uh, I didn't like it. You know what they say. If you can make a dog laugh, <laughs> you could make anybody laugh. Uh, That's how you make it a business. Perform for a mouse, a rat, a snake, a grasshopper. Who's this guy? Who? The man I was just talking to. He's a gorilla in a suit. You can't listen to gorillas because they're going <laughs> to fucking lie to you, bro. <laughs> gorilla looks out for numero uno. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm fucked up. <laughs> we're at South Am I keeping it together? We're at South yeah, Third and Driggs on the car cast. Uh-huh. South Third and Drake, Greg, uh, Greg's a little high, I think. Uh, uh, feeling life. I'm not anything but emotionally erect. <laughs> That's what I meant. That's what I meant. I don't do drugs, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. No, no, you're emotional. Look at I'm, these guys unloading a futon at 10:22 at night. Where are you going with that? Now, yep. uh, question. Number two on the car cast. Yeah. What have you guys been talking about the whole time? On this podcast right yeah. now? Yeah. No clue. I what? zoned out. Really? Well, finally you're admitting it. <laughs> you know, it's like... I zoned out that time. Which time? This time. The new time. You didn't hear about my pizza story? No. Look at this guy. I, a guy almost hit my car with a bicycle. That's yeah. the kind of shit you can't... Dude, we're swarmed with bikes right now. Did you even notice that? <laughs> we are swarmed. It's like an asteroid field of fucking city bikers and fungal heads. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. You can't live in this city. You can't. I was on the phone with my brother today, and I said to him, I said to him, this is the worst city in the world. <laughs> There's not... This is a... 
uh, 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 the pits of humanity, a hellhole uh, bound, bound for destruction. Uh, you know, so what your thoughts on that? She's bound to TNT. That means <laughs> she's on a rocket. It's a bound to TNT. Go you up, my friend. You don't die. We're now on the Williamsburg Bridge. I think Greg is singing that song as if it's a song. I, I, know. I know. As if it's a known fucking song <laughs> that, that anyone's ever sang. That he sang. can't remember the words to. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you one yeah. real question. I'm sorry. Yeah. Am I... Speaking when appropriate and listening when appropriate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. why not? Yeah. You're doing it's, a backup job. All right, okay. As long as I'm not just slamming through people talking. No, or you're not talking. Right. I could just not be talking. No, you've been talking. Appropriately? Yeah, you've been talking very appropriately. Just Look at that view. That's beautiful. That's Those beautiful. are the lights of New York City. We're crossing I mean, I the Williamsburg Bridge. I think it's a fine city. All right, right, we've got the Empire said, State Building. I mean, that, Light the beacon! <laughs> Oh boy. Light the beacons! <laughs> no, it's all right. You see it like this, and it's all right. He's got to light the beacons, bro. Yeah, get those How beacons. How are they going to know hope still stands? They've got to know hope stands. Uh, <laughs> they have got to. Anyway, I was down in the dumps today. I think I'm. I what? think I'm rising out. You know. Yeah, I think you're coming out too. I would say. Why? Who are you in the dumps? Well, you know, I get that hot brain. My brain gets all hot. I get. Uh, you get depressed for a while, but I feel good now. Uh, now we're. In you the know city. what you might find out when doctors do an autopsy on you? What is that? Your brain to where your skin flap and your skull is yeah there's too much room in between i think that's what oh, it is you know what i mean uh yeah you just got too much space or we buy him a fucking brain seat belt dude well <laughs> here's the thing here's the thing <laughs> about that idea. some kind of leather strap i like the idea that you think i'm going to find that out when they do an autopsy <laughs> <laughs> oh thanks boys <laughs> yeah dude i enjoyed this car ride now uh, uh greg uh, you guys aren't fighting, right? That wasn't fighting? No, that was no, fighting, that, bro. Yeah, that was, was big time that fighting. That was an intense fight. Uh, we are now uh, approaching. What yeah. was rule two, though? You never finished that. There were no rules. We're you entering said. the uh, uh, Lower East Side. Uh, uh, it, it, we've taken a right here on uh, Clinton Street in the Lower East Side. There's a man this in a pork pie hat. Still looks like the like 80s New York. Yep. Yeah, yeah, this you is... Know? This is People the playing soccer on the street. There's yeah. no one. There's no <laughs> one. Know, no. If I can clarify for our listeners, there is no one in sight playing soccer. Uh, <laughs> no, not that's even, a New York thing not, ever in the history of anything. <laughs> not even close. It's 1020, 1026 at night. Uh, Did you guys see the legs on uh, old he's Scrappy over there? Who? Red Hat Scrappy? I think he started to say that before he... <laughs> Even spotted Some someone's person. leg, yeah, yeah so and then strange. he looked around <laughs> in a in a godforsaken panic Me? for somebody that had legs. <laughs> Let's hope to God somebody's walking the street with a red hat. <laughs> here he is. Here he is on speed mode. Look at him. He's on speed mode right now, <laughs> flying through town. Uh, Greg's hat. pointed out a guy. No, uh, him, no red hat and no notable legs. Not sure. Uh, shorts, bro. Yeah, he is wearing cargo shorts. Uh, Jesus, everywhere you look in this city, there's someone doing something. There, something I just think weird. we just saw a guy humping a bicycle. Yeah, that guy was just fucking a bike. And this guy's got his hazards on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, this is it. This is the city. Can you guys tell me a little bit? Tell me a little bit about your relationship to the city. When did you first enter the city? My relationship to the city. Yeah, I New was York a, city. I was a child. Uh, it was a child, and it was a very dangerous place. So you, you grew up in Bloomfield, New Jersey, Yes. Right? How far was that from New York City? That was about 20 minutes away. Oh, wow. So when was a fir your first memory of coming to the city? Greg, stay with us there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we went here to go to a play when I was younger. I don't remember the play off the top of my head, but uh, I remember that I thought, I think I thought for a little while that they only sold pretzels in New York. And that was the only place I could get a pretzel. Because I would always come here and I would always be so excited to get a pretzel. And I, I don't know that I knew that they sold them anywhere else. Because I would always be like... Like a street vendor pretzel? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd always yeah. be like, I can't wait to go to New York. That's where they have pretzels. And they're soft as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the truth is they probably don't have soft pretzels that many. you got to go to a big city to find a street vendor, you know? Yeah. Yep. But they're rock hard here. 
They you are. ever had a street vendor pretzel? You no. are a hard guy. They, I mean, I don't know that I've ever had one in the history of my life that hasn't hasn't been rock hard. <laughs> are you friend, kidding me? Those are not halal or kosher. Uh, so but um, it was very dangerous, I remember. And you would come in a lot of your porno mom. theaters. Yeah, yes. a lot of porno theaters. A lot of peep shows. A lot, a lot of peeps, brothers. A lot of peeps. 20 plus years ago. Yeah. What is the deal at a peep show? You go in and you just jerk off while ladies are behind the glass? I think so. Oh, interesting. I've never... We've, no, that's weird to Look me Look at this guy. Neither, this is the worst skateboarder yeah, I've ever we've seen. We've probably <laughs> talked about peep shows so much on this podcast, and neither... The three of us have never been in one. Well, you can't go to a peep show. There's very few peep shows anymore, I believe. There's that one in Long Island City. That's not a peep show. They, that you, That is a porn uh, store. So I think you could probably watch <laughs> pornos in a booth. I got a good idea for a store called Pepperoni Peepers. I was just gonna say. Oh really? I swear to God. I was yeah, really? Say, pepper peeperino. Pe- peeperoni. Peeper- peeperoni. <laughs> Peeperonis. You get a peeperoni with yeah. every slice. You, you get, get a slice of pizza and a strip. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that is what I was yeah, saying. We were on the same. We were wavelength connecting, brother. That's crazy. The brain waves were there. Yeah. I'm, Hold on a second. Yeah, peeper- uh, peeperunos. Peeperoni. I find this Peeperonis. very hard to believe. Peeperonis. That you both simultaneously. I swear no, I swear to God, because more. he said. He was just saying words back there, and he said pepperoni. And oh. I was like, well, that'd be great. Oh, I see. Peperoni, bro. So you go and you get a slice and a peep. Doesn't or to it's me. for a real concierge who looks at and looks at pepperonis. He said, goes, mm, this is a nice little A connoisseur. Yeah. A connoisseur. A master of everything. <laughs> yeah, he kind of detoured me with the concierge. He's yeah. a man. But then I get it. He food uh, savers. And, the guy, food savers. and the guy says, I'd like to, ooh, I'd like to purchase this fine pepperoni. <laughs> oh, not here you won't, sir. This is just a, for a peep. It's just for a peep. <laughs> like, this is a peep, just sir. Yeah. You uh, can look at this, Roni. This ain't for sale. Sir, I mean, yes. You yeah, want a good store uh, next door. I mean, yeah, this is just going on. Uh, we got a man. Yes, our a, place has it has people who sit and take your money when you're in the bathroom that's not a needed feature but we have it because we're running an a plus venue here a plus venue you fucking pay to wipe here pal uh i don't like those uh bathroom concierges the devil uh, what do you yeah, call those like a bathroom attendant attendants? although the only reason i'm okay with them is because usually when a a, a bathroom has an attendant, they got a lot of good stuff in there. They'll have uh, colognes, uh, some fresh combs. Lewd behavior? <laughs> some of that? Uh, nope. <laughs> it's a bunch of kids fanny wagging around. <laughs> now, uh, if I could, if I could, uh. appropriately what's being said? No, you're doing great. Yeah. If I could give the uh, Rad Dude Casters a little update. We're, we, we've now proceeded through the East Village. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're, we're coming coming up First Avenue, uh, past East 9th Street here. My sister used to live over on 2nd Avenue. Check her out. No, stop that. <laughs> what is that a thing to say? <laughs> what is that a thing to say? That's I'll check your sister out. She's got a baby coming, dude. Doesn't matter. I love that. Oh, man, man. We are sisters back in Cleveland, right? But my yeah. sister has my never sister fucking... Is. Oh. Greg, can you, are you, I'll shut down. Are you, uh, what's going through your mind as you, as it approaches that you're going to be a grandfather? If I find myself a grandfather, then I find myself a new lawyer. That's what I always say. And I won't stop saying it because some clown on the street has got a problem with my language. But do you think you're going to, do you think you're going to be a good, uh, grandfather? My grandfather's Fred. He lived his life to the pinnacle. <laughs> Fill that glass at the top, but don't let any water spill. That's his policy. A lot of policies that we sign off on in my family. We have policies, we sign off on them. And we say, we go with these now. This isn't making any sense. <laughs> Was that the only policy, or were there more policies? What policy? How are you following this, Fred's Anthony? policy. What are you, crazy? I'm listening to the whole thing. What's the fucking policy? You fill the water to the top, or you don't. <laughs> yeah, Something man. is a water-based when policy. I don't know that I got everything about it, but... <laughs> if you have a policy for how high you fill the water, then you must have a policy for everything else that's ever happened. <laughs> that's your starting off? Yeah, yeah. you're Could right you about mind? that your life like you filled it to the very last drop of that glass but not a little bit of its bills not a little bit not none of it you filled it to the top baby live your life 
fill to the top. How many glasses of water do you guys drink a day? Man, I'd probably just drink three or four. All right. Fair is, enough. Is it racist if a black person drinks more water than us, but someone just assumes it? But it's true. You know? But they yeah. found out later. Like, they've just been saying it for years. No one's being been rude. saying that. <laughs> and then you find out, oh my God, it was true. You were all not being racist. You were just saying the truth. They didn't drink more glasses of water than us. Yeah, but nobody says that. <laughs> what? What do you say? Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I've lost control. I've lost the balcony, as they say. Well, Fielding the only reason I brought it up. I've <laughs> uh, <laughs> lost the balcony? <laughs> the fielding business? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> racketeers, bro. Everyone is. What up. is a racketeer? Still racketeer. A racketeer. Yeah. What's that about? Uh, that's a, a racket. A racket is like a, a. You don't really get much racketeering anymore. It's a racket is kind of a con. Like ra labor racketeering is when you kind of. Uh, take over the unions to give out fake jobs and bleed money from the unions. Okay. Just running a racket. Okay. I have an announcement when we're ready. We're ready. I'm going to buy a dog and I'm going to name him Ghibli Wits. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be all long like an accordion that's all stretched out. <laughs> Ghibli. He's going to wear blacked out sunglasses. Let's smoke a cigarette. Okay, Anthony, hold on. <laughs> Anthony, yeah. you're going into a pet store. Yes, I am. You're trying to purchase a dog. Yes. Greg's the dog. Greg's Ghibli Wits. Okay. Greg, you're, you're Ghibli Wits. Anthony, you interview your potential dog. Okay. Um, I'd like this I'd like this one right here. Who, me? Yes, you. Cool day rock, brother. I'm sorry, what did you I say? I say cool day rock. <laughs> I'm here, the coolest Ghibli Wiz dog <laughs> in this city. <laughs> so you want to go home refreshed, or you want to go home with sex? Um, I'm sorry, did you just proposition me, <laughs> Ghibli Wits? Ghibli Wits don't give a fuck. Ghibli Wits, he's just on the corner, he asked for money, and he said, give me, give me money so I can get my new, my new Claro net. I play it, I play it, I got a cool bandana. Anthony, are you sure you want to get this dog? Something seems wrong with his, I don't know. his I do, brain packet. I do like a jazz dog. Ghibli oh. Wits, what were your parents like? <laughs> My parents. Uh, let me remember the let me remember their images. One was the classic dog, gray brown. What is that? <laughs> the classic, canine. The classic gray and brown. Yeah, canine. Dog. <laughs> yep, absolutely. That was my father. Well, that was my father's mother. I don't know. <laughs> He can't tell if it was his father. Wait, it was either my father or my father's mother. father's mother. That's what? tough for dogs. Yeah, they're all I dogs look alike. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. That's understandable. They say we're colorblind, but are we blind? All we all we know is all we see. You know what I mean? I'm Ghibli Wits. <laughs> are you going to get this dog or what? <laughs> yeah, I'll probably get him. I just have a couple more things. Um, yeah. So I've, you know, I've got a couple kids. Do you have any experience with kids? I have experience with a cocaine problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah. is, I love Ghibli with. How, uh, how does that relate to kids exactly? It relates to, well, yeah, if they're awake, we're awake. And we're doing it. <laughs> but I'm probably pumping out nine lines, making a weird roast beef, this thing to eat. So be careful with me around kids. I have a cocaine problem. Okay. All right. I mean, that's something I'll definitely be keeping in mind. Um, now, what was, what was your previous living situation like? You live, you love. If you didn't live, you didn't love. If you love. No, but like a physical situation. To not love? like a poem. Or to live. To live. To live. To live. Where did you live, Chip? Where did you oh, live? Oh, like physically, mentaphysically. <laughs> I'm not live, you know, my man. My man, I live on Third Ave, but my brain encompasses the world, brother. My brain is a cloud that rains on humanity. Whoa, whoa, that's heavy, man. That is pretty heavy, Ghibli Wits. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm writing a book. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah, bathroom oh. get along. What's it called? Uh, bathroom get along. Everyone in the bathroom, help you get along when you get along. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I mean, brother? <laughs> this is a book for you to read. Real quick fun facts about life and God and philosophy and look at that ass. <laughs> Fine ass for a man with a <laughs> bottle of Voss. <laughs> Call me the boss. Boy, Ghibli Wits. Yeah, brother. So, Ghibli Wits, so where did you, um, where did you grow up? I grew up where? Mentor physically or physically. <laughs> <laughs> that is the second time you've mentioned metaphysically, which is road. a term I've never heard of it's, before. Could you explain metaphysically to me? You think it's hard to get a date with one of them? Sorry to interrupt. Get in there. Well, no, that talks. guy, easy to, easy to go on a date with that. Uh, is that what you meant? Well, I just meant... No, I probably... Uh, I think that's what I'm going to A date with you? I don't even understand what you said. What did you mean? I don't know what. Now, Ghibli with Sorry Day. Yes, up. my friend. It's, it is interesting to me. I'm going through a change. <laughs> Ghibli Witz, you sound a lot like Elton John. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hopping into Bowie. <laughs> For David Bowie. Uh, it Ghibli Witz is David Bowie sometimes. I find it interesting that... Uh, like the Hulk. You know, we've met uh -huh. the world's first talking dog, and he's just a lunatic. It's because I'm half dog, half David Bowie. So sometimes I bark, and sometimes... I have a fever. Is that even an Elton John song? <laughs> I'm so fucked up right now, guys. Do we know that? Yeah, everyone yeah, knows man. that. It's it's in your... a fun way. <laughs> at a dental appointment or whatever you need to tell yourself so you can sleep at night. <laughs> Do you think there's people who are losing sleep <laughs> over this scenario? <laughs> what? People are on their rights. I have rights. No one has rights, man. The man decides the rights. Uh, now, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ghibli wins. I'm out. <laughs> well, let's do a thing. All right. Uh, where? Uh, Too much of me, though. I should slow down. No, you no, should no. speed up. You're no, doing you're great. great, man. I would Ooh, say geez, remain, what remain a pace. Yeah, you see that? What a yeah, fox. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Her body wanted to rip through those clothes angrily. <laughs> now, they were screaming for it. Uh, I'll, uh, what kind of character do you want to play? You haven't done a character in a while. Uh, do, well, I don't know. I'm having fun. About? Oh, is Ghibli Wits still in play? Because I thought uh, Ghibli Wits retired. Let me get out of this party. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. I'm back. I'm back, guys. All right, so now we're, where we've gone, as Ghibli Wood spoke to us, uh, Rad yeah, Newcast man. listeners, we proceeded, uh, <laughs> we proceeded up First Avenue uh, through uh, Midtown. Uh, we're approaching the Upper East Side, but we're going to uh, head back over. We came from Brooklyn. We're going to head over uh, to Queens on the Ed Koch Queensboro Bridge. Now, do you guys want to go home? Here's my question. Do you guys want to go home, or are we going to see Matt at Whiplash? I have so many answers right now. I, I, here, let me tell you this. Yeah, yeah, what's your take? What's Brendan's take? I have to take you guys home. Okay, well, let's do that. Because uh, there's only one reason why. Uh-huh. First of all, because I can't edit this. I oh, mean, right, there's right, right. stuff on your computer yeah, oh, that, that I need sense. to edit okay, this. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just need to come in briefly with you guys, pop this baby up. Then maybe uh, play 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 that zombie game, which I've fallen in love with. Oh boy, I'll six be to in my seven room. hours. No, you'll come. No, me and you will play because I need you to get. What, what do you mean? I can't no? play. I want to visualize it. I want to watch it. Wait, did you turn the podcast off? No, no. Oh, good, good. Because I'm still. I'm... All right, that's great. So we're going. Okay, so yeah, continue yeah. on with the tour, well, Brandon. What about a pizza slice? Yeah. Onward. We're gonna get a slice. Oh yeah. If you think we're not gonna get a slice, <laughs> shove it up your own ass. I would, and I, I, would, I would do it honorably because I know you would. I will that. never leave you hanging on a slice, my friend. But I thought maybe we'd go in Queens, get the slice. Maybe go to Frankie's. Uh, look at this fella. He spends a little time in the gym. Looks great. Great body. Yeah, really great, great body. body. Good body. <laughs> what, what a hot bod, they say. I say. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that lady's a fox, too. Yeah, look at her driving a station wagon in the big city. The big city. I want to talk about you. I'm talking about you, my girl. Weird. She's got like a. She's covering her mouth, but it looks like a man is reaching up from. Look at that. You've got your fingers oh, on your it. lips, and you look so good. And I, I want to talk about you with the seatbelt on. You're a foxy brown girl. <laughs> <laughs> if I could say to our uh, listeners, she's not brown. No, she's but she, there's a tint to it. A little bit of a hue. I think she's white. She might be white, but why is white? Uh, she's from Connecticut. What? Oh, she is. Or at least that's where she got her Have car. Have I just been singing this whole time? 
The whole time. Yeah. Sorry. Two hours. Edit me out. No. Edit no, me never. in. Uh. <laughs> Ah, fire in the hole. Now, as we cross under the Roosevelt Island uh, tram, yes, if you will. Have you guys ever taken that tram? Only no. by fist hand over hand, like a commando, yeah. my friend. <laughs> you commando <laughs> fisted that whole wire all the way out to Roosevelt Island. Yep, bah, brother. One mile on a steel cable, you just jumped up there and and uh, walked the walk. Yeah, yeah, that's what, I didn't walk. I mean, I did it with my hands, brother, like pull up style. <laughs> pull it up, brother. Pull up your life with Crest toothpaste. <laughs> Did you know the tram is uh, it's just a metro car? That's all it takes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. No, yeah, seriously. Right. Seriously, man. Yeah. 100%. Two lies today you've told me. They're talking. <laughs> what was the first lie? About an erection I had. <laughs> Where did he say about He's, that? I said, is this an erection in me? And he said, you're good, bro. You're good. And I had a wide-on erection. <laughs> and that was furious. <laughs> Why? <laughs> we got a wide-on? Wide-on. <laughs> I got a real wide-on for you. I go lateral, not longitudinal. Not only that, you're, you find the need to run it by someone else if yes. you think you have one. I see. Is this on a matter of bone? Because I'm rocking a boner 90% of the day. So for me, it's just degrees of a boner. So I have to say, am I, what degree am I? Am I at raging? Because I should go calm down then. And then you got to tell me. Because I've always bonered up for my own protection. <laughs> That's for your protection, of you Of course. Uh... <laughs> what? All right. Dude, he's going on about things. Now we've, we've, uh, we've, we've... <laughs> Man. Traversed the Queensboro Bridge. Traversed. We're heading, heading into Queens. Uh, boy, we've taken a tour. A three-borough tour, huh? A three-borough tour. <laughs> yeah, man, we totally did. Uh, uh, I'm back, though, guys. I think I'm back now. Has anyone asked us anything on Twitter? This, yes. Uh, Someone has sent me a question. I said, I shall repeat it. <laughs> well, that's not Oh, really? It. Yep. He shan't repeat it. Sh I shan't repeat this question that was asked to me upon Twitter. It was, how wide is your boner? <laughs> that happened again, guys. Call back to the old joke. But I ruined the podcast. Do that voice again, because I'd like to do a night thing where we're three nights. Go, let's do it. What do you got on the left one? Yeah. I, I, three men tour. Okay, Anthony, do a night's voice. Get me started here. Hello? Hello? Ah, kind sir. Thank you for joining us on a, on Without's Quest. Oh, there was so <laughs> that you are with us. Me? Uh, why me, kind sir? Yes, of course. It's an honor for us to have you in our presence. I'm Sir Prancelot. Yes, of course we know who you are. We're very, we set the table. Very well. Let us proceed. Yes, yes, please. Please. Yes. Yes. Shall I be introduced? Yes, yes, At this of course. Fair occasion? Oh, yes, yes, of course. We invited you. I am, as y'all know, Mantor of Mantors. Yes, of course. We know you are. I am a Mantor, and I Thank tour. You. Give everyone tours. Men only. If it isn't Mantor of Mantopolis. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, welcome down. to the quest, my friend. Sit down, sit down. Allow me, I take up two spots. <laughs> yes, of course. Wow. Uh, take as many chairs as you need. Thou shalt take unlimited spots, yes. Uh, sir. Yes, yes, <laughs> spots are yours. Where shall I lay my sword, which I have dipped <laughs> crustedly in dog puke? Ah, of course, of course, ah, of course, as <laughs> gypsy dog puke as asked for. Let's <laughs> lay it down where, wherever you want. Where on there, I will I'll put it on this uh, this mantelpiece. Yes, yes, Maybe of course, pull the mantelpiece. Baseball trophy, nineteen eighty-one. 
Yes, yeah, I'm the best one. One not a better place to put it than on the baseball trophy. <laughs> As the legends have foretold, yes. a three knights, valiant all, oh, proceed on a quest. What with them do thou to carry but a 1981 baseball trophy and a sword verily dipped in dog oh, puke. You. <laughs> <laughs> Ripe with dog puke, triplingly <laughs> smelling bad. <laughs> Triple you. A putrid smell. <laughs> but it is with honor it sits, and I shan't regret it. A smelly, yes, yes, but yet course. honorable. Of course. Allow me to bestow with you. Yes, yes. I allow it, I allow it. Yes, of course, I will run. want you I to have bestow. I brought two medals. To from my hometown to be addressed to the two of you. Yeah, yes, of course, two medals. Uh, uh, this uh, sure medals. Right. Best medals. looking, thank you very much. <laughs> Best looking. This medal, ribboned with ribbons, yes, I yes, place sorry. upon the neck of you. Thank you very much. Let thank me you. say the hymn and then you'll be blessed. Everyone, everybody, check in chest. You is now your medal. <laughs> thank you! Oh, thank you very much for the song to accompany the Good. medal! It is with honor I bestow my second medal! Ah, <laughs> uh, and with honor I receive it! With, yes, open with your mouth! With great haste, I must ask you to return your name to me again. I am forgetting you. Ah, uh, hastily, sir, I shall never begrudge you <laughs> such a man as yourself, man, Manton of Manton. Ah, uh, thou who comes bearing the sword. Thou is covered with dog puke. <laughs> My name, of course, but of course, sir, is Prancelot. Prancelot! Yes, yes, Prancelot. Very good. I yes. bestow upon you this medal for one step above ugly. <laughs> That's a high honor! Compared to best looking! Consider, consider that medal that is ribboned with ribbons yes, received most kindly around my neck and to be worn forevermore as I prance about the land as Prancelot and say, I, sir, am but yet one step sir, above ugly. Sir, it is, yes, yes, of course, it is determined I am best looking and he is one step above ugly. What other gifts do you have for for us that would most likely follow along the same lines. <laughs> this is a box. Yes, I, I have yes, brought but for of you. course, yes, thank you. Yeah. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, kind sir. Uh, please, uh, please explain to my ears that thine may hear. Explain this concept of a box. This box, this box before me, I open the box and inside is a golden token that says the richest bastard stood in the land! Thank you, but of course, thank you, thank you, Mantor! But of course! Yeah. And now for, and now your, for your gift! gift. Prancelor of Prancelot, princiest ah, of the princes! Ah, I await a gift of fervently, mm -hmm. with fully erect penis and a glow in my heart! Mm. Let me give you now, it, I, instead of putting it in a box, I put it in the innards of a sheep goat. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Is, is, is any quality a gift? A sheep goat shall be fine. Yes. How, in, how clever. <laughs> within this, and within this, you find the rarest of diarrhea clams. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, good for you. The alien virus that is 15 years in the future and will riddle your penis inert. Yes, yes, good, of course. So, let's do another inventory. I received a golden coin that said I'm the richest bastard in the land. And if and I, you... and if I may recap yes, my yes, own such kindness, which Manfred has shown yes, and yes. chose to bestow upon me, mildly prance, Prancelot of this little village of Prancelot, he has given to me on this very day a, such a gift as I have never been given. Within a sheep's goat's innards, I look in, and what dost thou find but a diarrhea clam? Yes, Which, yes. 
15 years henceforth <laughs> into the future shall rid of my penis uh, unusable. Yes, and yes. I accept this gift <laughs> as only God. such a wonderful gift. Of God. course, what a gift you've been given. <laughs> you now I see you. You've presented me no with, more gifts. with no more gifts. No more yeah, gifts. No more gifts for anyone. No, well that's fine too. I must end this putrony. <laughs> Alright. Well, <laughs> thank you for coming. That was fun. That was that? fun. That was a good night bit. That was good. That was a good night bit. I didn't think we were going to get out of that one. We didn't. I, well, I, didn't, I, I thought say, that we'd be trapped as those people forever. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, I didn't want to. I was having fun. Oh, was I, did I edit us too quick? No, that no, was probably think, the right point. I, I don't think. Know where else we were going to go with that? I think within that one night bit. I did 37 different voices. <laughs> my guy couldn't keep a voice. Yeah, Lancelot a couldn't keep a, a voice. Sign. It's been brought to my attention that my voice always, I just, whatever it starts off with goes into a high, squeaky, Miss Piggy, Muppet-like voice. Who told you that? I did. Oh, yeah. Greg told me that. <laughs> you got good voices. You I, I would voice. say, Absolutely. in terms of variance in voices, Greg's probably got the best. Yeah. Because I tend to do a sort of weird, Russian gritty thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost every time, and you do go to that. Miss, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Greg can change it up a lot. Yeah. What do you mean, cowboy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a cowboy in the house with his bros. Oh bros. man. The cowboy, cowboy of there. left field. He let's, was a left field dancer. Let's go around in a circle. I found it, and I can present it to you as a coin, a token of trust. Oh, where'd you get this? Right in the seat here. Did you really? This <laughs> looks like something special. <laughs> it is something nice, man. It's a Christmas tree ornament. What is this? Nobody knows. Uh, now, let's go around in a circle here, and what we'll do is, so... What is that? I don't know. This is something very fine that you found. <laughs> and very fine indeed. <laughs> now, Anthony, we'll go around the circle. Stop okay. texting. What I'm going to do is I'll tell Damn. Greg a guy that he's got a deal. Oh, He okay. just does it in a sentence. Okay. Then he gives you a guy. Oh, well, that's pretty fun. Okay, so Greg... You have to start, though. Yeah, I'll give it to you. You've got to do a uh, bear mm. who wakes up uh, from hibernating, mm -hmm. and he's found that his bear den has been uh, turned into a, a, a luxury condominium complex, oh my God. and he's now sharing his den uh, with a with a, a 27 year old uh, sales manager and his girlfriend. Okay, I can't believe you're still living here, sir. <laughs> I, clearly this was my den. <laughs> clearly you moved in on false pretense of this being some kind of condominium. Uh, sell away. It's pretty good. Now you give Let's Anthony get. a guy. Alright. You're Larry Prince. Mm -hmm. You've had a gun on you for a long time. <laughs> You've been able to shoot the skin off of anybody. You're a rogue cop who now owns a delicious salad boutique. They make fresh, crazy sounds, but no one wants to eat them because they're too exciting. They're too much. He goes too far, this guy, because he's that guy. And you're a quarter to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you got all that? Wait, what was the last yeah, part? A quarter to me? He's a quarter Dominican. Quarter, just a quarter Dominican. Just a quarter. So he's got that. You hello, hello. Well, that's, only, that's more than a quarter. It's more than a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome to Prince's Salad Place. Well, oh, that's like that's Asian. Yeah, it's not Asian. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Just sound like an old grizzled cop. Go with that. Hello. No, yeah, maybe closer. Uh, no, it's all your old slow. So. Hello. Yeah. Hello. And you're well, not that. You're only a quarter. You're only a quarter Dominican. That's a big part of his personality. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome. There we go. Is that good? That's yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to Prince Prince's Prince's Salad Place, where you can get walnuts. You could get. Tofu, you could get dice. Dice, bro. You could get mustard on a salad. Do you want that? Of course. Good. No, I don't. Like so, oh, oh, really? My bad. Um, right in front of us. Okay, well, what about this salad? Uh, baked shrimp. Zedis. Yeah. Spaghetti sauce. That's not a salad. Oh, wait, are we all supposed to stay in the same character? <laughs> I don't know. Because I have to be this bear. He's <laughs> got a real problem. This guy moved in with him. <laughs> yeah, you stay in that character. Now, Anthony, you give me a character. All right, you're, um... Get, see, nobody in the city knows how to cross streets. 
This guy's just walking. All right. We are fast approaching Steinway, which is where uh, Steinway um, Steinway uh, pianos are made. You're you're Ricky Rogers. Mm -hmm. You're a steamboat captain. Yeah, I don't care about my fact. Is that true? Yeah. What was the fact again? Steinway pianos are made here. Oh yeah, they are actually. Well, I can't believe that because we weren't even we'll approaching Steinway. It, bro, How could I believe it true. when the first part of it that we were approaching Steinway wasn't even true? <laughs> well, that part wasn't true. Because it was approached long ago. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know where we are. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. I, my brain is riddled with problems. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. That, that is absolutely true. Uh, now, Anthony. You're Ricky Rogers. Yeah. You are a steamboat captain. Oh, yeah. good. You, uh... You're half German, yeah. half Irish. Yeah. Your wife. <laughs> <laughs> your wife um, hasn't seen you in eight months because you've been out at sea. Yeah. And right now, you're trying to explain yeah. to your first mate what her body is like. Yeah, I want to hear this. And uh, go <laughs> when you're ready. I'm Ricky Rogers, <laughs> steamboat captain, <laughs> greatest steamboat captain that's yeah. ever lived, sure. that's ever sailed the high seas <laughs> on a steamboat. Now, first shot. now, yeah, yeah. Gavin, first try. now, Gavin, close, first mate, because I'm gonna tell you what my wife's body looks like. This is gonna be very yeah. honestly. I'll be she's... just to say this as your first mate. I already know you. So you're going to have to introduce yourself to me. Yeah! Uh, heads up. Yeah! Thanks for the heads up! <laughs> now, sit right back and I'll tell you a tale! She, my wife's body, she's got one tit li like a fucking mountain, the other one like a flea bite! <laughs> Ricky, I just want to tell oh. you, real quick, you, or you can stay as long as you want, but that faucet is a mowit. Okay, that's good stuff. It's a mowit. You be ah, careful with that faucet. Who invited this bear here? I'm trying to tell you about my dead. wife's body. Well, he's well. We're circ. You know, we're transporting animals for the circus, so he's on the ship. I got a real problem here. He <laughs> said he's got a real problem here. <laughs> Listen, you got any salads with cooked shrimp and ziti? I don't, because I kind of have to be, you know. The voice of reason in this situation, but if you really want, I can get a guy who does that kind of thing. You didn't bring in that salad, fella. I got a bear in the back. He's starving. This certificate you guys, you guys says, oh, would you guys I live here forever. You live here forever? Hey, well, that's right. While you're here, maybe you'd like to enjoy yeah, a, like this guy. Uh, a salad made out of chopped knives and <laughs> grease. And a fireball shot of whiskey. Ooh, that sounds good, bear! Yeah, what the... If I was a bear, you know what I would do? I'd bet my life on it, was I know. Okay, lost it. Reality there. Uh, can we get into something real quick? All right. Yeah, what do you want to get into? you guys want to plug anything? Is it? Wait, we're going to end it? How much time have I been going? Good chance we haven't even been recording this thing. Oh, that would be fun. Now we're talking. Oh, no, we're in. Good. We, this has been working. 40 minutes? 43, yes. 43? I could do another 20 minute special. Yeah, all, all right. right. Or no, now. Are you hungry, Greg? The most hungry any man has ever felt hungry. All right, let's eat. You want to go to, where do you want to go? Uh, Frankie's? Is yeah, Frankie's Frank open? Yeah, Frankie, it's only like 11. Frankie's, what time's Frankie's open, though? Frankie closes at like 2. Frankie, Frankie don't close. Frankie's Frankie. open late. Frankie don't close. Open late. Frankie don't close. She stays open like... But pizza! Is Frankie, is Frankie's on 31st? Make a left. Yeah. Make a Larry. Don't hit these two broads. They're looking for trouble. Trouble's found ya. <laughs> um, all right. You guys want to end it? Well, let's get to Frankie's. Oh, let's okay. get the Frankie the fuck out of here, pal. <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Legend killers, bro. Who? What's this pizza palace about? Oh, I've, you know what? I've pizza trusted palace? myself there once. Man. Not good. I've been there a long time. If it's open. We first moved in. The first day we moved in, we ate there. That's, that's Would you right. Would rather go friend. there? I never ate there again. I don't think they're open. They're, they don't, they got a good gyro uh, serve up. Oh, do they? A great gyro serve up. That's right by Chicken Festival. Do you think people like this podcast? Yes, some people I love it. They really do. I've never been more happy with anything. 
created in my life. Yeah, yeah. People really like it. Jake Young all the time tells me how much he loves it. Starbucks. Fat Lydia. Fat kids everywhere. Erica Spera. Just all kinds of people. Rimming with fat kids. <laughs> Is this Frankie's? Frankie don't know about that kind yeah. of fat Where? kids I'm bringing to the table. Frankie's a, a little bit up, but you can park anywhere around here. Wow. You're a fat fuck and I love you. <laughs> oh, That's what I would say to this kid. <laughs> you little meatball. <laughs> I want to eat you, but I won't. That's a huge right offense. Here. There's nowhere to park. You park next to this kid. He's so fat. <laughs> it's not even coming down a little bit. I'm still alive at 11. Yep. Have I just been yelling? Am I offending anyone? No. No, you've done great. No one's nice. mad at me? No. Let's keep that together. Well, anybody got any plugs? I'm going to be up your mother's asshole, people. Yep. Nope, you. Let me see. What month are we in? Oh, September. brothers. No, I'm going to fucking be a... LOL. When does this come out? Tomorrow night. Oh, tomorrow tonight. night? Tonight at midnight. Well, uh, Saturday I'll be at Penn State with Rachel Feinstein, but I don't know where and when. So All right, it. so if you go, if you're at Penn State this Saturday, check out Anthony Devito from the Red Dude Cast. That's it for today. Thanks for listening to the Car Cast. God bless. God bless you, you fucker. God bless you. <laughs> you Is still going? How do I stop this? Is it you're hitting it's the button, so the red button.